Are you afraid of dying? No, not at all. Do you think you go somewhere? Uh, no. The one thing I can't understand, I can't grasp my mind around, I feel when you die, there's just nothing. It's like when you're Me asleep too. and you're not dreaming. But I can't imagine nothingness lasting forever. That's what That's I That's the thing that I cannot get. I can't grasp. To not exist yeah. forever. Forever. What happens when we die? Do we just cease to exist? Is there nothing? Well, Ecclesiastes 3.11 says, He hath made everything beautiful in his time. He also hath set Ha'olam, or eternity, in their heart. There's a reason that it's hard for Stan Lee or Larry King or anybody else for that matter to imagine nothingness for eternity. What do you think happens when we die? I think there's definitely something waiting for us. That's because we have a creator who has created us with an inner acknowledgement that we have a soul that lives forever. Try it. Just try and think about nothingness and it makes your mind glitch because we are programmed by God to understand that we're gonna be somewhere forever. And according to the Bible, it's not nothingness. We will spend eternity in one of two places, either a place commonly known as heaven, basically being with God for all eternity, or being in a place called hell, separated from God forever. What makes the determining factor between one place or the other? You see, our sin is what condemns us to hell. All the bad things that we have ever done, and there's no way that our good can outweigh our bad, that we can be holy enough to meet God's standard to be able to be in heaven. But that's why God sent a Messiah, a Savior, the one promised in the Hebrew Scriptures for people like Stan Lee and Larry King, that he would die for the people of Israel paying God's penalty for their sin. And the New Testament reveals that everybody can be saved through this Jewish Messiah, Yeshua, or as we call him, Jesus. Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you haven't trusted Jesus' death and resurrection to pay your penalty, then you'll have to pay it yourself for all eternity, separated from a holy God, in a place called hell.